Hey, what's up? So I think I have something pretty cool here. So um, there is this blog article by On Less Wrong um, where they talk or write about 100 tips for a better life. And the idea for this video or for this video series is to go together with all of you through those 100 tips. And then maybe I will add something from my own life. Maybe I will just let it uncommented. Um, we will see. Um, I think I will not do <laughs> every hundred now in a row, um, but I will do them, let's say, like maybe 25 tips each for each video. video I will see. But I will definitely not uh, cut it or edit it afterwards. So that's a like one shot take. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump into it. So definitely credits to the person creating this, uh, these tips. Um, it's from a blog called Ideopunk. Uh, I think Connor is the is the name who who has written these. So yeah, let's let's jump into the first category: possessions. So the first tip is, if you want to find out about people's opinions on a product, Google the product name and add Reddit in the Google search. You will get real people arguing as compared to the search engine optimized Google results. And I think I use it like really all the time. Probably a lot of you already know this, but it's, it's, it's really like the best thing you can do. So let's say, um, what's the best? I don't know. So, you know, when you when you Google that, like, they're just like basically articles for just advertisements. So, like, probably from all these articles, the best one is the one from the company or from the site who wrote the, the you know blog article. This is like basic SEO. Um, every company does this. Um, but if you now take the same Google search and add Reddit at the end, you basically get from, you know, from subreddits like Ask Man or Skincare Addictions and people who like ask the same questions. And in these subreddits, you actually get most of the time not advertised opinions. Um, I mean, you also always have to, you know, have in mind that there are also companies knowing that and maybe putting people writing into these subreddits, so always be aware of that. But in general, you can say you get like more or less unbiased opinions in, in the comment section there. So, you know, you can just see what, what, what all these people are writing and then maybe look at different subreddits and then decide what's maybe the best so for you. So I think that's like very, um, very interesting one, very easy to do one. So definitely uh, do that in the future. Second thing is some banks charge you $20 for a month for an account, others charge you zero. If you're with one of the former, have a good explanation for what those $20 are buying. So my personal experience with this was that I also changed my bank account, I think, two and a half years ago. And at the former one, there was like very traditional and I had to pay a lot of fees and there was not really something um, I really got from the money so I changed it to a like new bank and there it was like free and I also you know get way more out of it so of course it's sometimes a hassle to do the like changing to a new bank um, but it's 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 really worth it um, especially maybe talk to your parents um, and and ask them what they're maybe paying for their bank accounts because they may be like for 20 or 30 years in the same bank and then, you know, they maybe should change for to a new one. So you can definitely also look into that one. Um, yeah, this is also a great one. Things you use for a significant fraction of your life, for example, your bed, office chair, are worth investing in. That's, that's also very true. So I think there are probably some things where you don't need to spend that much money because you already know up front that you maybe use it not that often or it's just temporary or something like that. But if you know up front that you buy something which you will use a lot or will have like a significant 
um, impact on your life. For example, you know, you, you sleep seven, eight hours from 24 hours a day is uh, best case. So you really don't want to, you know, save money on a good mattress or on a good bed, but you really want to, to um, you know, pay maybe a little bit more um, instead of, you know, there, there's a saying who like, if you buy cheap, you need to buy double or you need to buy two, two times. Um, and I think that's like very true. So really don't save money um, if you can on, on those things and save your money maybe on, you know, not on, on, on other things. Um, if you ask yourself, where is the good knife? You know that if you're looking for the good something, you also have your bad something. So when you say you have the good knife, you, all, you are aware that there are also bad knives. Um, and the tip here is to actually throw these things out. So always when you came across like looking for something good, also maybe with clothes, like what are your good underwear, or your good socks, <laughs> throw away the bad ones um, and rather have like less but good ones instead of a lot, but you don't know wh whether whose those things are good or not good. Um, and, and I think that leads to the, to the next one. Uh, oh no, I think that's uh, the sixth one. We come closer to throwing things away. Next one is, if your work is done on a computer, get a second monitor, less time navigating between windows means more time for thinking. I mean, that's a very basic one. I think a lot of you already do this. Um, some people have also like a third or fourth, fifth monitor, so you really can upgrade your, your setup as, as much as you want. Um, so my setup is for traveling. I have like my laptop or my MacBook. Um, and when I'm like at the office or home office, I have a Mac mini and two monitors. So that's my um, go-to go -to setup, um, which I'm very happy with. Yeah, that's what I want to talk about, ab about throwing things away. Establish real rules about when to throw old, out old junk. Once clear rules are established, junk will probably cease to be a problem. This is because any rule would be superior to our implicit rules. Keep this broken stereo for five years in case I learn how to fix this. I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe you also learned that from your parents. Like, um, maybe you need these types of clothes some you know, years later. Maybe you need something like that some years later. And then over the years, there's so much junk that... Um, that, that you know gathers in you know your your rooms that you don't use that it, it always gets more and more I think throwing things away is is also has something meditative like I think there's a um, a book about this I'm not sure about you know throwing things it's something with like Japanese culture uh, Yeah, I think it's it's something like this. Maybe it's also another book, but there's like a good book about um, throwing things away and, and cleaning, basically. So um, yeah, just just throw it away. Trust me. Um, don't buy CDs for people. They have Spotify. Buy the merch from a band they like instead. It's more personal. And the band gets more money. I mean. Another thought about that, to be honest, like probably true. Um, so you can you can basically do that. Um, when buying things, time and money trade off against each other. If you're low on money, take more time to find deals. If you're low on time, stop looking for great deals and just buy things quickly online. I mean, to be honest, that's also where I'm really need to improve. So especially with the letter one, like. I, I'm very low on time, but I'm still sometimes like on the dumbest situations try to save money. Like I don't I don't know, for for really buying things online, I really compare things for like like an hour that at the end like I save like ten bucks or stuff like that. So <laughs> I really um catch myself there a lot of times, uh, even now. So I think I also need to improve on that one. But I think that's really um, necessary to do. So if you're low on time, um, don't spend hours and hours for looking for the great deals and just buy it if you want. One thing that 
helps is maybe thinking about really what you want to buy. So um, if you if you think you want to buy something, maybe wait one or two days um, and then figuring out if you really need it. If yes, then just buy it. And again, it's it's a very easy decision process you can do in your life. All right, let's go to cooking. Uh, one of my weaknesses, I would say. Steeping minutes, green at three, black at four, herbal at five, good tea is that simple. I mean, I'm a big um, lover of tea. I don't really like coffee that much, so I really prefer tea over coffee. So I have a very big, a uh, lot, of, lot of teas in my apartment. Um, there are these like tea brewing machines where they, you know, uh, tea brewing machine. Yeah, Google knows what I mean. So, and they also like heat up your tea and you have like buttons where, you know, they automatically um, put in the tea and after three minutes uh, put it out so you have the best taste for different kinds of teas. You don't really need that. <laughs> coming back to the what you really need buying um, but yeah if you really like tea and want to do everything right maybe something like that um, but yeah it's 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 I think really cool to to learn more about different kinds of uh, teas food actually can be both cheap healthy tasty and relatively quick to prepare all it requires is a few hours one day to prepare many meals for the week I'm, I would say I'm also not that good on this one. I most of the time eat very like easy meals or, or let's say easy to prepare meals. So it actually would make sense to prepare them. Um, but yeah, that's, that's I think also one thing I need to improve in the future, especially if you're like going out into the office or something like that and you don't want to buy everything every time for lunch something is expensive. I think it's uh, really cool to just have things, have something prepared. Cooking pollutes the air, opening windows for a few minutes after cooking can dramatically improve air quality. Yeah, uh, I never thought about that. Probably true. Um, so you can have this in mind. Food taste can be made much more exciting through simple seasoning. It's also an opportunity for expression, buy a few herbs and spices and experiment away. That's a really good one. And I think to add on this, the best way to learn about new herbs and spices is to travel and to go to other countries and learn more about the herbs and spices there and maybe bring back uh, some of there. And probably in your own country, you have these herbs from those other countries, but you never tasted them. So I think that the best tip for this one is to travel a lot and, and visit different countries and try the different herbs and spices there and just figure out what you like and what you don't like. When Googling a res recipe, um, proceed it with best. You will find better recipes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe also best and grandma <laughs> will get you even better results. So grandma's best apple pie or something like that. That would be like the best of the best. Um, yeah, let's do a few more, and I think that that that's it for the for this video. Um, productivity, advanced search results, um, advanced search results, uh, search features are a fast way to create tighter search statements. For example, image HTML will return inferior results compared to image HTML W three. Um, yeah, um, I will try this out. I've never really tried that one out. You can automate mundane computer tasks with AutoHotKey or AppleScript. If you keep doing a sequence so simple a computer can do it, make the computer do it. Um, yeah, you can you can use, as, as, as you mentioned, like different kinds of um, automation tools. Um, for example, there's also, for example, I can have shortcuts which I use for some things. Um, you know, you you can you know write your own, your own scripts, 
in, in, in terminal and then add like a shortcut for it. So I have a very sh um, useful shortcut for uh, making screenshots of text and copying it. So if I screenshot this, will return the results compared to with this automation tool, it copies it and I can just paste it as you can see here. So things like that are really useful. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the next one. Learn keyboard shortcuts. They're easy to learn and you will get tasks done faster. So, you know, looking for a tool and then adding the shortcuts there. Uh, it's, it's really easy. And you can also, you know, configure your own shortcuts. So up to you how you do it. Done is better than perfect. That really is basically used in every, like not only on, on a personal level, but also like on a professional or business level. So yeah, have that in mind. Don't, it's like the um, Pareto principle, like 80-20, like 80% uh, of the work or 20% of the work will get you 80% of, of the uh, outcome. And the rest will uh, need the, rate, the, the next 80% of your time. Keep your desk and workspace bare. Treat every object as an imposition upon your attention because it is. A workspace is not a place for storing things, it's a place for accomplishing things. Yeah, especially if you're working in like home office environment, that's I think pretty hard or sometimes even, even more harder to do. So really, I mean, keep things clean and easy. Um, if you can't do it at home, try to maybe work in a co-working space or somewhere else where you have like a separate desk and then um, you have like a clean one. Reward yourself after completing challenges even badly. Yeah, um, I will reward myself now with stopping with the video. <laughs> even, I don't know, it's up to you, but even if it was done badly. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just think, so this was the first part. Um, next thing will be out about body and other topics. So we have 19 from 100. Um, but again, if I will do this in one video, it would be like a one hour video and I don't want to do that. So that was the first part. Um, maybe some of these things help you. Um, and yeah, just uh, keep going and see you soon.